In lesson 23, the students were working more with rates, unit rates, and conversions to help them um, solve problems. So I just want to give you a couple of examples. Hmm, if I could find my pen here. I just wanted to give you a couple examples of things that we did in class. So maybe you can watch it to re-understand what we were doing, or maybe you can watch it to help your son or daughter at home. Suppose that on Saturday morning you can cut three lawns in five hours. Okay, so right away I'm comparing lawns and hours. And your friend, okay, I guess this is you. This is your friend. Can cut five lawns in eight hours. Lawns, hours. Okay. I or you can do <laughs> three lawns in five hours. Your friend can cut five lawns in eight hours. Okay, so there's a couple different things you could do here, okay? You could always scale it down, okay? If I chose to scale it down here, it would be for one hour, okay? This, to scale 5 down to 1, I divide by 5, divide by 5. This is 3 divided by 5. have to put it in that order on your calculator. 3 divided by 5. That would be 0 and 6 tenths of a lawn cut. Okay? If I scale this down to an hour, and I did 5 divided by 8 in your calculator, you're going to end up with a decimal and it's going to be 0 0.625, okay? I'm going to line up my decimals to compare them. I'm going to fill in the missing places here with zeros. Okay, you can cut 600 thousandths of a lawn. Your friend can cut 625 thousandths of a lawn. Okay, your friend is cutting at a faster rate. I'm telling you, I don't know if I love that way. I don't know if I love scaling down for this one. Okay, I don't know. I think that's tough for sixth graders to say. Let me see if I can do something else. Let me see if I can scale it up. Five and eight, I can find a common factor. Eight times five is 40. Five times eight gives you 40. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. In 40 hours, you can cut 24 lawns. Let's scale this one up, too. In 40 hours, your friend can um, cut 25 lawns. I think this is an easier way for 6th graders to see it. I would like them first to try scaling down. Okay, if they can't scale down, I'm going to ask them to try scaling up. So let's try the next word problem together. These are the two we did in class. Next, suppose you own a restaurant. You want to do some advertising, so you hire two middle school students to deliver takeout menus around town. One of them, Darla, delivers 350 menus in two hours. And another employee, Drew, delivers 510 menus in three hours. Okay, um, I'm going to show you both ways again. I'm going to scale these both down to one hour. This would div be divide by three, divide by three. Okay, 510 divided by three is going to equal 170. Okay, I'm going to divide by two, divide by two. 350 divided by two is 175. Okay. And it says, you promise a $10 bonus to the faster worker since time is money in the restaurant business. I'm giving Darla the bonus. She delivers five more menus per hour. Okay? As promised, let me show you the scale up way. Okay? Let's see if Darla's still right if we scale up. Three times two is six. Let's see how much each person can deliver in six hours. This Darla can deliver 1,050 menus in six hours.
and Drew can only deliver 1,020 in six hours. So again, Darla's getting this bonus. I hope this, this gives you a sneak peek of Lesson 23.